and we are going to begin in the state of Arizona, where Chris Van Cleve is, the Grand Canyon state. Chris, good morning to you. There's a gulf there in the Grand Canyon, but the candidates for governor are also Senate very, very close. Good morning. Well, good morning, Tony. And ideologically, the gulf is huge between the Republican and Democratic candidates here. We should tell you, the polls in Arizona opened just about five minutes ago. There was a, a line of people outside of this polling place in Paradise Valley. Some folks got here about a half an hour before the polls opened at 530 in the morning here. Uh, now, the, the majority of Arizonans actually vote early predominantly by mail. We know more than 1.5 million have essentially already voted. Now, that said, election officials expect it to be a busy day here at the polls, people voting in person. There's been a lot of emphasis put on that by the Republican candidates here in Arizona, so they expect a busier than usual day at the actual polls. So we'll be watching that. The key races are thought to be very, very close. Kerry Lake, the Trump-endorsed Republican candidate for governor, has drawn national attention for, among other things, denying the outcome of the 2020 election, an election run by her opponent, Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. The race for Senate is one CBS News calls a toss-up. The former naval pilot and astronaut Mark Kelly, the incumbent senator, has made protecting seniors and a woman's right to choose key parts of his campaign. His opponent, Republican Blake Masters, has gotten a last-minute bump in the polls while appearing with Carrie Lake as they've been crisscrossing the state. Election officials caution that if these races are as close as some think or particularly if they're as close as we saw here in 2020, it could take several days to have enough votes counted to be able to clearly point to a winner. Uh, some of that is due to the way that the mail-in ballots come in. Uh, you know, votes that arrived Sunday, Monday, today, they have to go through a verification process to verify the signatures. That takes time. So they may not be counted until Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday in some places. Democrats here in Arizona and, and across the country are saying they don't know in many races if they'll be able to determine who won tonight. They say they're also preparing for some of their opponents to declare victory anyway. So that's something we'll be watching here in Arizona tonight, Tony. Uh, Chris, it's a great point. Uh, a, a slow count is still a secure count, uh, and people should be patient. We may not have results, particularly nationally, for uh, a few days, uh, maybe even longer. Chris, thank you very much.